$25, nigga. Yeah, 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 nothing, nigga. You walking away. No, I'll take your word for it. Said, My cash shit. app's gonna go ding on this podcast. It's nigga. on the record right now. It's on the record. Yes, on sir. Record. All right, here we go. The lunch crew company. Yeah, I'm part the lunch of crew that. company. I'm part of that. <laughs> he should be proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> The lunch crew company. And my man's just caught a body. We on the news with it. An interrogation looking fabulous. Don't got a clue with him. Gucci Kevin's pants, fresh as hell with the shoes with him. If I love a bitch, I love a bitch to death. Don't care who did it. I'm fresh out of my deal. Shoot That's the a cash ass son. Or it's back to selling pipes for the hot. Cash I'm a street son. Take my shirt off just to fuck her. Let me swim like the beach open. I just nutted and I got the gummy worm. But I'ma keep stroking. She's sucking dick all night. I'm the reason that her knees swollen. Oh, I'm so disgusting. Look, I, I did Sean Cotton. I was in my feelings. All got misspoke. Now we ducked off in Houston with two bad bitches eating Lotus. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on? It's your host, Smoke the Chemist, with it's the Aunt. Faded Podcast. It's Ant. your boy, Blizzy. Yes, sir. In celebration of 50 years of hip hop, Hennessy Ooh. dropped this dope ass yeah, box. Yeah, look at that. You feel me? Thank you, Hennessy. Courtesy of y'all. You feel me? Pa- yeah. See the bottle yeah, change. Look. Rip me Ooh, out the, the plate. bottle got a sexy label on yeah, it. Yeah, look at that. Bottle sexy. It looks Fish good. One. Looks good. Bless. 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 Thank yeah. you. Bottle looking sexy. It's What's looking going good, on? Looking great. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, family. Miss so, y'all. man, what's the word, man? What's going on? What's going on? How's your day, Donnie? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta get that on. Oh, get it? Yep. Julian. I don't know where I felt like I could get a little drink around here, do you, bud? Yeah. yeah. Hey, that was clean. Yeah. That was clean. Uh, Please. God damn, but that's a heavy drink. Any anything new lately, y'all? Anything new? Uh, I've I, got been, some, I got some shit to talk about, but yeah, I got one thing. I got, I mean, go for it. I got some stories. Get the Hennessy in there. Hennessy, sponsor me. Please, please, respectfully. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Um, I seen a, a controlled delivery this week. Where? Uh-huh. Yeah, Wait, controlled uh, delivery. Uh, so you know how? Uh, remember the movie uh, Snitch with uh, The Rock, mm. and like the dude got sent some shit. And then he went to the mail to get it, and then they swarmed him, like, when he got the mail. Mm. Yeah. So I seen that live, 4K, oh. front row. I was doing a, <clears throat> I was doing a job in Ravenna, like, down south. Yo, I've been out there, yo. That shit's crazy out there. Yeah, it it's is. It's like, there's, like, one little small city, like, mm. where everything's at. Yeah, and then everything else is, like, country as hell. You're driving Hardy's down long while you're roads. Out there? Huh? You eat the Hardee's while you're out there? No. Huh. That's just funny. <laughs> it's just flame, boy. There is, I, I know like. there is a Hardee's though. I do pass it all the time, like down there. Yeah, Try it. it is. It's really there. good. It's flame. I've never had it. It's really we drove good. all the way out there for Hardee's one day. It was really I did, uh, That's the closest Hardee's. Or, I know, think I went to. Mm-hmm. I went to like Sandusky or Ooh, something. Oh, you know what's even more flame though? The A and W restaurant, like <gasps> the root beer. The root beer. The root beer. Yeah, I see it all the time too. They got a restaurant, bro. I uh-huh. never knew that shit. Bro. That shit flame. But bro. is it just root beer shit or no? No, they got like burgers. It's like a Swenson's. Oh, okay, okay. I but see it all the time. I just never knew it was a restaurant. Yeah, that Way better flame. quality, honestly. Is it? Yeah, like you can tell that they use real meat for their burgers and stuff. I went to a uh, um, fucking like south of Ohio once for a cabin, and when we were coming back up, they stopped. Everyone was like, "Oh, we gotta stop at White Castle." That shit's trash. I love White Castle. White Castle. Oh, yeah, I, mean, I, I love White I Castle. Like, <laughs> so White Castle has an occult following I in my family, that. and like. I don't know. I never got into White Castle. Like, my mom used to say I used to eat those chicken rings all the time. Mm. But, like, I never... And, like, that shit would honestly seems weird as hell to me as an adult. Bro, what, chicken rings? it's yeah. ass. Like, mm-hmm. I went over there. The sliders that everyone loves so much, they're just... I feel like the burgers are barely cooked. They're, like, so thin. They got the onions on Yo, that shit. <sighs> that shit sounds busting. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, all right, roll up, break. Yeah. I- I'm gonna just say this real quick. Mm-hmm. Don't you ever disrespect White Castle in my house again. I swear to God, young man. <laughs> I swear to God. It was. It, it went from me. I feel like you're okay, one. Okay, and the, I will uh, respect that. You're one of the cult following of. Uh, and I White am, Castle. respectfully, <laughs> so. because I, I had a childhood, mm. and it was because of White Castle. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. I remember I can I haven't had it in years, but I can still taste that that fake sticky cheese on your top of your roof of your mouth. I don't even mm. sound attractive. It's not supposed to be. <laughs> you ever eat McDonald's? It's That's like what that. Cole says. You find you follow sure. it blindly. <laughs> it's like McDonald's. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Almost a violation. Yeah. <laughs> but uh when I was in Ravenna, I was doing a job uh, across the street from this house. That shit hurt it. And uh, we were just putting shit in the truck, and I seen this dude go, come outside in the slides, and he's just walking to the mailbox, just grabs a package, he's walking in. As soon as he's, like, almost to his door, two unmarked cars just pull up almost on his lawn and just take him in. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hell, no. Shit, was, shit was wild. That's a way to start your day. Instantly reminded me of, like, movies and shit. I was yeah. I like, got that motherfucker. If you be waking up early enough, you can see the police when they be setting up. Mm, what's the, uh, the days where they used to do... Uh, Sweeps? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used, they used to, to do them. sweeps every first. Well, like, it's either at the first of the month or, like, the very end. Mm -hmm. And they would uh, sweep the whole block. They only do that when they have a certain amount of warrants in, like, mm -hmm. one neighborhood. I remember a few times growing up, like, on 25th, you would just, like, be walking to the store the time, or something, yeah. and then you would just see them, like, swatting a house, bro. And I'm like, damn. That's, I would see them crazy. niggas loading up, bro, and they'd be having the paddy wagons because they'd be yeah, having... Yeah, the big old truck, those big-ass trucks? No, those are the APCs. That carries them around, but like they got paddy wagons, like just mm -hmm. to carry niggas back and forth. Oh yeah, they had a uh, transport. Yeah, 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 like they would have two of those vans posted, like ready, bro. I'm like, damn, bro. Y'all seen that uh blind side scandal that's coming out, man? Yeah, what the mm -hmm. fuck is uh the uh oh, so yeah. the big mm -hmm. dude from the blind side never got paid for that movie, like <gasps> crazy good, like you know what I'm saying, like yeah. as he should have. And you know I guess I mean? they Honestly, never, uh, really adopted him. He they made him like sign yeah, papers. Yeah, they shit. uh they did. They fabricated that story up a lot. But also, I feel like the only reason why we all watched that movie was because uh Sandra Bullock was bad. Oh in that my movie, yeah. boy. He was bad up in that movie, boy. But yeah, Big Mike. Big Mike. <laughs> oh <laughs> my oh, god. Mike, though. <laughs> but yeah, though, man, that nigga ain't getting paid right, man. Somebody pay that man, cause he had a promising career in the NFL before that. Right, right. That shit, and that shit kind of derailed this shit. That Damn, sucks. man, Sandra Bullock, you ain't shit. <laughs> like, Come on, Sandy. Man, so I was, like, watching, like, scroll down Facebook the other day. I seen a fucking video of Nick Chubbs squatting. Have y'all ever seen that man squat? Who's Nick Chubbs again? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Dude. I knew the name. I'm like, who the fuck is that? Mm -hmm. Dude, this nigga was squatting something crazy, bro. I'm talking like his whole weight, the weight bar mm -hmm. was flexing like like a cartoon, bro. Like, you know how cartoons characters yeah, go? Yeah, yeah, the metal. Meow. That shit's like Bowie. Meow. That's how he was lifting, bro. That's how much weight was on that bar. That bitch was, the bar was holding, struggling way more than him. Him squatting that. See, like, this is why I don't yeah. work out, man. Like, this is why I don't work out. Because I'll probably go to the gym and be like, okay, you know, just get a regular workout in. Then you got Nick Chubb-ass motherfucker over dude, here. Dude, I think that, that shit that had to be at least 600 plus pounds. You see, I don't know. At that. least. I'm telling you, bro. That shit was crazy. Did it look like he was in, like, a regular uh, gym? Like, the video itself, was it, like... No, it was, like, probably, like, the a training facility. Because I was going to say, I told you, but... My mom, she's a welder, and she had built um, a weight bench for the calves, mm -hmm. and it's literally just steel. That way, they don't break it because they're these men are brutes, and it was like twelve foot long because yeah, yeah. they're all over six foot. You know what I mean? So she said that when the guy came to pick it up, he's like, "Yeah, my men broke two more before you made this, so hopefully they don't break this one." Jesus, man! They're right. brutes. They're huge men. You know what I mean? You know who else was huge? Who? I found this out the other day. Harry Houdini. The magician. Yeah, yeah, he was a chunky bat. He was No. A, yeah, what? That man was jacked. Yeah, he was. Houdini? Oh, no, I thought he was like chunky. Houdini, Harry Houdini, the magician, bro. <laughs> dude was just. Dude ripped. Had muscles? Ripped. I thought he was chunky. Had a training regiment and everything, bro. Wow. Dude was jacked. Here, Maybe man. that's why. Let me pull up a picture, bro. This dude. They got I've, photos of that? Yes, okay. bro. That's crazy. Harry Houdini, we'll jacked as fuck. It's going to be up there. Magician, Jack, fucking bro. Jack, magician, bodybuilder. That's crazy. He said, "You want to see a magic trick?" 
<laughs> Wash these veins, Papa. Yeah. Oh, you want to see a four-pack turn into a 12-pack? E- Jesus, man. Jacked, my nigga. The Hennessy is running through my veins. <laughs> I can feel that I'm starting to sweat. Hennessy, give us a call, man. We do good work. Hit me up. Don't, don't f- focus on this. Focus on the positives. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't worry about what I'm doing. That's irrelevant. <laughs> that's okay. irrelevant right now. Look, that's a search thing too. Harry Houdini's muscles. <laughs> it ain't my search thingy, but that's like frequently, <laughs> frequently searched. Just to clarify, it's frequently not mine. Frequently searched, but like, they look at how ripped. fucking Jack this nigga is for a magician, bro. They kind of ripped. Though. He kind of, mi- yeah, he got Bruh. a lot. Of, he got a lot of muscle on that body. You gotta, you gotta find the one that I seen. He was like a. You seen a power how much, uh, how much tail you think magicians get? Probably enough. <laughs> it's you know? enough for sure. Dog be going crazy. I feel like if you have money in any career, you will get enough punchy. Mm. You if know you what were I to, mean? if you were to take up magicianry, mm-hmm. okay, magic. Mm-hmm. So by his own accounts, background? he was Obviously. into physical fitness by the age of seven. In his youth, Love he it. became a champion runner, boxer, and swimmer. Oh my God! You guys ever seen that video of the little and baby? magic, bro. Picking up the the weight and he throws it on the ground and starts screaming. Start screaming. That's yeah, what yeah, I just yeah, imagine, yeah. imagine Harry Fuck Houdini. Hey, bro. By the yeah. age of seven, bro. Seven is wild to be. Hey, no, but nigga. no, you know. My ass will pass out after a mile and a half on the m- fucking treadmill. By seven, he was already like lifting weights and shit. I'm in Man, my twenties and got fucking dietary problems. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> this, is, this is fucking this is crazy. Nuts, bro. When you started saying dietary, I thought you were about to say dysentery. Oh no! <laughs> and I was like, no way. No, I'm in and out of the hospital. Which shit, I got dietary problems. Jesus. I don't know. I got, I got a uh, question, man. How do you uh, cook a hot dog at home? Seeing that our last episode, we had Glizzy Gladiators here, gladiators. So. Uh. Okay, um, so how am I making them, like, if I'm making them at home? If you're about to make yourself a glizzy at the cribby, <laughs> what you eat and how you eating it, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm probably, if I'm not doing the grill, I'm probably boiling water, just using the boiling a water. A dirty myself. water dog. Yeah. Savages, bro, savages. How you we had this it? conversation the other day. We did, and I Man, said Man, fry I that bitch in the pan with some oil, nigga, what you mean? You gonna fry it? Yup. Okay. Not like deep fried nigga, but a little. Do you take a strong moral standing against dirty water hot dogs? No, but if you, <laughs> no. if he only you, eats them if you gotta the have street. love for yourself to fry that bitch, bro. You out here eating the dirty water dog, like what the hold fuck? On. Uh-uh. Now hold on. I'm gonna say one thing. Go ahead, go ahead, because I got some. You don't have love for yourself if you're eating a hot dog, regardless. And the only thing <laughs> you are smack. About? What are you talking about? You could dress up a hot dog to where that you shit's can. nice. You can, but you it's feel st- me? You fry that outside to yeah, where it yeah. got that pop, nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? But Throw a little onions and fucking mustard on that bitch, it's boy. It's delicious, but at the end of the day, it's still I feel a hot like, dog. Thinking about it, I feel like there is something sad to, to eating a, a hot boiled, dog alone. Yeah. A boiled hot dog with the condiments. That's how kids eat their hot dogs. That's, that's how, how you. Eat. That's how you throw them now, on for the kids. Now, hold on. Hold on. Because as a child growing up. I used up, to eat them like that all the time. My mother would make us hot dogs. This was the nastiest way. This I fucking mm-hmm. hated. And as soon as microwave. I got to. Microwave. Huh? Microwave. Yeah, bro. So she would <laughs> yeah. throw it in little plastic Tupperware with barely yeah, any gross. water. Oh. Barely any that's water gross. in it. Throw that bitch. So she wouldn't make this all the time, but when she was ready to like just feed us real quick, that's what she would do. And then the hot dog would split open down the middle, looking like a fucking uh, a flesh demon. I don't know what it looked like. It looked bro. like the movie Teeth. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And even even then, like it was hard. Like when I was eating them, because my mom would serve them without a bun sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And I can't eat a hot dog without a bun. Well, can I, I be honest with you guys? My favorite memory of like, because you know we we were always taught. You don't leave the table until you finish eating. Yep. And if my mom brought me Fuck out, that. and I could tell you many memories <laughs> of my mom. <laughs> like, look, she would bring me out. Like, it'd be quick because she just got home from work. She's tired. She'd put a hot dog in a microwave. And this was when I was way younger. Every time it would split, mm. I would take that as a perfect opportunity. <coughs> perfect little crack. Perfect little crevice to put my ketchups in there. You know what I mean? Because now I got my... Meat, I guess my ketchups the, and then not my leaving bun. the table rule. I mean, I guess that's a standard you know? in people's house, but that's crazy to me. Oh no, bro! My mom, but my dad, my dad used to do that, that shit, enjoy, nigga. Hey, and you know? I used to be one of the most spiteful ass niggas, bro. He would be like, "Yeah, you can't leave that table until that shit's gone." Nigga, I would sit there. Yeah, all that's, day. oh yeah, I did the same yeah, thing sometimes. Nigga, I would watch the fucking sunset. Rise, all type of shit, nigga. Sitting at that damn table. He was table. a prideful child. That's all I, I had to say. Now listen, my Pride. mom was a my mom was a, a cool mom. She was a good mom growing up. 
but she was a little more aggressive back in the day, man. Right, right, right. And so there'd be some days where she's like, you're not leaving the table till you eat. And mm-hmm. then I would wait out the clock like you did, bro, and just sit there because I'm not eating that shit. And then there's some days where she would like kind of like low-key force feed it to you. Like, oh, you yeah. Know, okay, like, yeah. open your fucking mouth. <laughs> like type shit. You're talking about aggressive parenting. Yeah. What is the worst ass whooping you can remember getting <sighs> as a kid? Oof. That's a little, that's tough. Yo. That's tough because there's my mom's whoopings, which were like, damn, bro, I'm getting my ass whooped. And mm-hmm. then when my, my dad was in and out of my life, my whole life. And when he came in, them beatings was crazy. My um, dad, he used to whip my ass, but like, I every time I knew I was going to get my ass whooped by my dad, my mom would tell me she fucked up. She would always tell me, you right, know, right. as a scary tactic. But my ass, I would go, I was so bad, nigga. I was getting my ass whooped like every other week. Right. Nigga, right. hey. Every time I she was like, yeah, I'm taking you over to your dad's, nigga, I'm about to give to get whooped. I would wear like three pairs of shorts, three pairs that. of underwear, two jeans. I Yo, I would put on so many pants to where he would get frustrated. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even though sometimes he would defeat me and get through, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But like, nigga, you would have to wear so many layers where they get frustrated with throughout the ass whooping. I've been there, bro. But yo, I've been there. But like, nigga, like, I don't know, like, the that was like, my dad really, like, we he ain't never really whooped my ass too bad besides the times, like, where we fist fought type shit. Yeah. But the worst ass whooping, like, the I, I wouldn't even say it's the worst ass whooping my mother gave me, but the most memorable one mm-hmm. for me. I don't know if it was, like, when I got expelled or something, or it, it was for something. I did something wrong. I know I was completely out of pocket. Yeah. And I'm talking crazy the whole way home. You feel me? My mom's dead silent. You feel me? That's when you I'm sitting here. I, I, a smart Reggie knows now. Never, nigga, shut the fuck up. Hey, listen, dead silent. I'm talking all the way to my room. I'm feeling this beating you got. So dog, (laughs) so dog, nigga, it's dead silent. Nigga, I'm over here wolfing in the in the back, nigga, wolfing like yeah, nigga, Mm. this that that that, nigga. Hey, as soon as I we got home, nigga, I walked in the house. And we, I'm still, mind you, I'm still wolfing, like, mm-hmm. the whole time, whole time, wolfing. You a like, brave non-stop. man. Non-stop. She's silent, bro. She walks me upstairs to my room, mm-hmm. and as soon as I cross, like, the threshold into my room, I'm going in first. It's LV. I'm still wolfing, nigga. I spin around. Boy, <laughs> when I say she backhanded me hard, like, so hard, nigga, like, bruh, no bullshit. That brother's I floating. F- I flew yeah. over my bed, bro. I flew over my bed. No bullshit. Mm. That's how much smite. Someone get him out the air. (laughs) (laughs) Man, you got your pigment changed. Hey, for real? And I honestly, I don't know. She (laughs) might have got me again because I might have started saying something again. I'm not sure. She caught you twice? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But all I know is after that first one, though, nigga, Mm. the tune, I got tuned. I call that a tune up. Because yeah, I got yeah, yeah. tuned up, nigga. Yeah, man. I'm talking immediately shut the fuck up, sat on my bed. Yes, mother. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> think. You know it's one of those beans where you, you know gotta think saying? you gotta like, think as a damn. kid, you kinda gotta think about your actions. You don't that's usually true. do that that's as a kid, I'm but like, now you're I'm like fucked damn. up. I'm like, fuck. Like, honestly. Honestly, dude. Yeah, like, my I mom had a shit. my mom had a quick tap. Like if you were like kinda getting loose out of pop- pocket in public. Yeah. She would do this quick, like slap to your mouth, kind of to make you be like, "Oh shit!" She wouldn't even, she wouldn't even chill. hit us in public. We knew better, bro. She'd be like, "Y'all can act a fool at home, but if y'all do that shit in public, nigga, that's your ass." No, in public, you got the quick tap was the warning. The yeah. quick tap to your mouth was like, "All right, bro, watch what you're saying, watch what you're doing." And if you kept going, she would be like, "Your mom." She's like, "Okay, you know, keep doing shit. what you're doing." And then when we got home. She wouldn't let you know that a beating's coming, you know? Like, we would be on the way home. I'm still just chilling, talking to my older brother, you know, having a good time. And I just see her in the rear view just, like, kind of nodding her head and shit. And I'm like, okay. And we'd get home, and it was go time. But uh, you said the worst. There's a few, but, like, a memorable one that's, like, really stands mm-hmm. out to me. Me and my brother were sick. Uh, my older brother were sick, and we were on the couch. And I remember she was going through it with my dad. Sibling rivalry is crazy, too. <laughs> I got a good story. Oh about yeah, some yeah. I could go all day with you on that. But um, we were both sick on the couch, and my mom was going through with my dad, so she was already upset. And like I said, yeah. she was more wild than she was now back in the day. And uh, I remember she hit us. I forgot what we did. I think she seen our room, and our room was like fucked up, and she was so mad. So she went on the couch, and I guess she hit us a couple times, and she took us by our feet, 
and threw us Hell off the couch. No. One, one by one, she threw us off the couch from the living room into the dining room. And we're both sick as fuck. We're on the floor like, what the fuck just happened, bro? We're in the dining room now. And then she went to our room, and since it was dirty, she fucked it up even more. She emptied drawers, put the TV on the floor, lifted mattresses and shit. Damn, that's closets. back in the day, too. That's a big TV. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was that's big a, back. That's a, at least Big back pounds. TV that's on the pounder. floor, bro. That's at least an 80-pounder. And so if our room was dirty, she would fuck it up to the fullest, bro. Empty closets, flip beds. Like I said, the TV's on the floor. Drawers yeah, are empty. And then, she'd be, and then she left with my uh, baby brother at the time, and she goes, when I get back, the room better be clean. And, uh, yeah, Damn. me and my brother had to work together, team lift this fucking 120 pound TV back on the dresser, clean the whole room. And that was one of the good ones. The other one was when I broke a window. She sat me in the corner, and I had to stand in the corner. And then uh, she was on her way to work. And she, you know those studded belts? Yeah. She used to uh, have one of those, and she took it off, and she whooped my ass in the... And you're in a corner, bro. You can't move. You can't move. And so I was nowhere. I was hitting there, and then she hit me with her high heel, too, which was crazy. The high heel? Okay. Yeah. So that's wild. I have to say, for both of y'all, I apologize. Well, but my, well, oh, no, my mom's cool. My mom's, <laughs> cool. Cool. My mom's yeah. primary mode of ass whooping was exercise. Yeah. She would make us exercise, bro, and she was a what fucking... What do you mean by that? Mm-hmm. She was a villain, bro. Don't fucking get that shit twisted. That shit worked. She was a villain, yo. Whole, her her primary goal of that of hitting you was, was exercise. Like primary mo- means of discipline was exercise. Yes. Can I ask you guys a question? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think I I for me personally I do think so. Do you think that um, the difference like because I grew up with a single mother, mm-hmm. single mother. Mm. You know what I mean? Right, right. Well, so, single mothers no, 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 aren't let, uh, single let me, mothers. No, no, no. Let me, There's know, people I'm, in your life that... I'm just saying, yeah, yeah, I know I'm that. just saying. <laughs> clarify that shit. Nigga, I'm, I got like 12 uncles, bro. I was, okay, There's so, a system. Yeah, no, I wasn't... So the only thing, the only reason why I was bringing that up is because I feel like it's different for boys growing up with... You know what I mean? For like, when it comes to like ass whoopings, because all of the brothers that I had, they got their ass beat, but they were bad. They were bad. You know what I mean? But you guys are like, I don't think you guys were that bad. Like, we weren't. I know growing up, the only person who beat me and, like, gave me whoopings was my I sister. I expelled from my preschool because I flipped the <laughs> desk over oh my in my principal office. I remember this day, oh dog. Because I'm a gremlin. No bullshit, nigga. <laughs> my mom was paying tuition for this school and everything, bro. Really? Tuition for a preschool? Yeah. It well, was, yeah, like, not preschool. It was probably, like, kindergarten, first yeah. grade, whatever. Oh, but well, yeah, anyways, you, you have to pay for a preschool. Yeah. But anyways, dog, I'm talking, I'm tearing this principal's office up, dog. Like, I flipped her desk over, nigga. I'm like that. And I'm like, you little ass kid. Wait, you flipped her desk over? Flipped I thought her you desk said your over. desk over. No, flipped her desk over. Oh, my God. Was gosh. throwing all her papers and shit, nigga. Mm. I, I, I distinctly remember doing this, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Mm. I ain't <laughs> gonna lie. I remember doing this I remember, shit. I remember seeing her ass going for the walkie-talkies to call for backup. I ran for them and I fucking smashed every. There was like four walkie talkies. I smashed every walkie talkie in that bitch. I've seen uh, kids like you on episodes of Law and Order. Bro. Yeah, yeah, they were. Like uh, I wasn't even bad. I was like angry. That's what I was saying. Like, that sounds like anger, buddy. That, not to get in that way, but that's what I was saying because, like, as I said, my mom she only she only did that to like my older sister, and that's because she was my mom was young when she had my my oldest yeah, yeah. my oldest my oldest sister yeah, yeah. she's 4 years older than me my mom had her when she was 15 so they grew up with each other you know right and i've seen her like pin my sister to the fridge throw straining irons I, i've gotten the straining iron thrown at me like ashtrays phones mm. tv remotes cats you know all types of shit she can pick yeah, up with man. her hands in the vicinity my man Cole made another fucking fire ass track Ooh. yeah you heard him before let me uh <coughs> Let me pull this shit up. Because uh, we definitely need to turn. <laughs> turn on, Albuquer- on Albuquerque. Holy shit. Bro. Do you ever wonder how sayings originate? Yeah. Like, did a lot of people get lost at Albuquerque? Taking a left turn at it? You know what I mean? That's a good Possibly. point, though. 
<gasps> There's a lot of sands out here that I'm like, how the fuck? Right, I, got it. I got it on the hook right here. Holy shit. This is the Dark Hour with the Faded <laughs> Podcast. She with her friends, I'm the back. I want to go. I want to go. She want to chit, she want to chat. I'm at a door. I'm at a door. If it ain't this, if it ain't that, don't want to know. Don't want to know. I want to dip, I got to stay. I want to score. I want to Antwood, not freaky. Control my night like Chi Chi. People popping up the blue like Measeeks. New girl sidekick like Cece. Don't know that I love you like Kiki. In the lab pushing buttons like Dee Dee. Same story, new person on repeat. Dude, this part of this character. Friends like Blippi. Hold on. Wait. Wait. I don't I'm Terry Crews. That's Bro, crazy. He be dropping fire. No, he does for sure. That might have not even been the one I wanted to show y'all. But yeah. He just has a, he has a questionable face. He's got Bro, that like that monotone nigga. that's like that makes you extra bump it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This nigga is fire, bro. That's crazy to me. <laughs> Straight flame, bro. Commercial. I wonder how long he's been making music. Jerome Powell make the printer go. Big <laughs> beans got the booty hole going. <laughs> oh, and he's got him shaking like. Black chick had me singing to her like. <laughs> Who's there? It's me, bitch. Roof off the top to put a bad girl on freezing. We're not able to. Can't see. It's me, one. bitch. <laughs> it's my prime at 25 and 35 is when I'm peeking. Movie gave me fruit and now the rubber's always on me. Oh. You think it's mine? I'm a COS Amari. Got the sandbag feeling. He a virgin till he Come on, put a put on my gun for when I travel Rick and Morty. Quick to the books. <laughs> yeah, I'm into it. That boy square go block him off like you're in tenement. I could water bend, turn the coochie to an element. Uh-huh. Bought up every house so I could own the whole development. Buzz like Amber Rose, beyond infinity like light year. We do the same shit. <laughs> Quit capping, you're not a pioneer. Talking on my left, it kept flowing out through my right ear. Once I get my money, like magic, I'ma disappear. Jerome Powell, make the printer go. Oh, Baked man. beans, got the booty hole going. Come on now, bro. Tell me that nigga ain't flame, bro. His ops is uh the next door neighbor Dan. Stop. That's fucking, crazy uh, though. That's good. Who got a Range Rover? <laughs> he don't fuck with him. <laughs> <Not a> Range <laughs> Rover. He's just subtly rapid too. Like there's no emotion behind bro, his that eyes, shit's bro. Flame, bro. I, bro. I feel like if Jeffrey Dahmer was alive in 2023 and just picked up rap, bro, that shit's Stop. flame, bro. There you go. I mean, yeah, it is. Is he doing it? Like, is he is he trying to be a rapper? Rapper? Is he like? Is this bro, like? That's a, his rap, bro. That's his. Okay. Straight. I mean, damn. God bless, brother. You keep doing you, cause they they are fire. I'm not gonna lie, they are fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baked beans got the booty. <laughs> what about the guy who sings like? What's you know which one I'm talking God. about? You know who yeah. I'm talking about? Hong Kong. <laughs> yeah, he, he goes like really high pitch. You know what I mean? Oh my God, it's so fried. I'll pull it up. Oh, so please. That so wild. good. It's so funny. When you say Hong Kong, I thought of the lady singing I Want to Be Ninja. <gasps> oh that my bitch. God. That's wild though. <laughs> <laughs> this is this nigga right here, bro. I've never heard like an actual song. Crazy. Be hard already, though. Know. That studio session, bro. Definitely. Of course he oh did. My. What do you mean? How you think that fucking engineer felt, bro? Definitely. They felt like they got a hit on their hands. <laughs> okay, he's definitely making it out. Oh of my, head. bro! I could, I would. I'm not gonna lie. Not that it's. Who I would kick put? him out the booth because I, as professionally, <laughs> I couldn't take it serious. I'm like, bro, like, yeah, is blind. this the track you really want me to produce for Respectfully. you? Respectfully. Shit's crazy, bro. Jeez. I actually might bump that when I leave, though. You I'm might a, have to. I'm in Hong Kong, you feel me? I practiced an Irish goodbye, my first Irish oh, goodbye the other day. God. That Are shit you aware? was flame. Are you aware of what an Irish goodbye is? An Irish goodbye. So that is when 
You just leave the party. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, hold on, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. There's logic. There's logic. So back in the day, back in the day. But a hot. I'm a street talker. Take my shirt off just to fuck her. Let me swim like the beach. Open. I just nut it now I got the gummy worm, but I'm going to keep stroking. She's sucking dick all night. Hello, fight enthusiasts and fellow jujitsu junkies. Are you ready to step in the world of intense matchups, tactical showdowns, and the art of mastering jujitsu? Then get ready to experience the adrenaline pumping podcast that brings you the best of both worlds. Let me introduce you to Hang Loose MMA, hosted by Bobby Lit and Nat Cat. The only podcast for fight picks and what it's like to be on a jiu-jitsu journey. Whether you're a hardcore fight fan or someone who's diving into the world of jiu-jitsu, Hang Loose MMA is your go-to destination for insightful analysis, expert predictions, and stories from the mats. Every episode, they're breaking down upcoming fights like nobody else, from UFC showdowns to boxing blockbusters. They diving deep into their fighting styles, past performances, and everything you need to know to make your informed fight picks. But that's not all. They both are passionate practitioners in jiu-jitsu, bringing you first-hand experiences from the mats. Whether you're a white belt or a black belt, there's always something new for you to learn and discuss. And for all you fellow jiu-jitsu aficionados, they're really diving deep into their techniques, training regimens, and personal growth stories that come with practicing this ancient art. Plus, they also want you to be a part of the action, so send them your questions, fight predictions, and your jiu-jitsu triumphs, and then get ready to jump into this exhilarating journey. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't ever miss an episode. And don't forget to follow them on all social media for sneak peeks, behind the scenes content, and chances to interact with them and other like-minded fight fans and jujitsu practitioners. So fight enthusiasts and jujitsu warriors, buckle up for this wild ride as they dissect fights, share techniques, and explore the world of combat sports on Hang Loose MMA. Irish people believed... Like if you're like basically you're rude if you go and intrude to tell someone you're leaving. Oh. So they I'm would prefer for you to just go. If you're leaving, just go. Don't even say goodbye. I pulled at least seventy Irish Yo, goodbyes. In I my did life. my first one at my family function. It was at my uh, cousin's gender reveal. Did motherfuckers Sorry, hit guys. you up after you? Nope. Left? No. no, I thought I I thought that people were gonna blow my shit up. Like, where oh, are where you? you at? Where Why'd you at? You where leave? you at? Hell no, nigga. I Irish goodbye up out of that hoe. Bro, that's what I I do that all the time. I think people like it a little bit. Bro, more. honestly, bro, that first one went so well. That's gonna be my new standard. Yes, because I have a when we like it's usually a family shit, but like I have a lot of family. That's a lot of goodbyes you got to do. So literally, For when real? I'm time to go, I said I said hell, I looked I turned and looked at Anna. I'm like, yo, let's do an Irish goodbye. Yeah, just. I agree with you though. That's I mean I. And we did that's a, a slow way to live. retreat. It wasn't to bad. Did you feel good? Did you? Hell yeah, we yeah. felt so good. Hell we yeah. felt really good. Good for you I guys. Lie. I ain't gonna lie. I had an adrenaline rush. Hell, hell yeah, yeah, bro. He's like, keep walking, keep walking. Don't look back. I don't back. know. Don't look like, back. go, go. It's it's nice because me, I, I'm a person where like, if I'm ready to go, I'm not patient. Ever since I got the ability, like I'm I'm a I'm an adult mm-hmm. and I'm have the ability to drive and transport myself anywhere. Yes, literally. If I'm ready to go, bro. I'm, I'm dipping. Going. That's why I don't ride a uh, passenger with anybody. Like, my yeah. mom will be like, I'll drive. I'm like, no, nah, I'll drive because right. I can just leave whenever. Reggie's the most, he's the most I'll do when it comes to passenger. I don't, I just, I can't do it. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't do that. Like, cause you're, you, you're on their time now mm-hmm. if you enter their car and I'm, I'm not about that. Like if I want to leave, I can just leave whenever. So good, good for you. It was perfect. <laughs> Look, he like, it was, it started raining cause we were sitting on these and then I might tables. have a caller for us. Oh yeah. You know, okay. We were sitting at this picnic table, and it started raining, just pouring down on us. Mm. And he's like, go. Just stand over here. And then he looks, and he's like, is it because of the spiders? I'm like, please, I just want to go right <laughs> I love how coordinated it Literally. was, too. It's like, let's let's go, and bro. He's just like, Irish goodbye? I'm like, please. And I feel it, too. It's a rush, too. You're like, I'm it leaving. Is. Nobody knows. I think I think the funniest part was, though, was when we got into the car, and mm. he's like, <sighs> Like a breath of fresh air. Like, like oh, oh, yeah. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Really Me, mine is different, though. Every time I pull it, I'll get a call from like my mom or something. They'll be like, where'd you go? I wish, nigga. But, uh, I was like, shit. Yeah. Actually, I don't wish, nigga, because that shit was slick, nigga. They'd be like, where'd you go? I'll be like, I got work tomorrow. I'm going home, bro. I just like I being home. I need to get out of that. I was gone, son. Pulled off quick. And yo, 
since I've been whipping this minivan, man, listen. CarPlay be putting your shit on blast, nigga. Nigga, I'm sitting here testing the limits in this van, nigga. I ain't putting no gas in it. Uh, I'm making a run. I'm like, yeah, nigga. I can make it. Fuck it. My phone texts me. I'm like, oh, yeah, somebody text me. I look down, nigga. It's CarPlay. <laughs> Fuel level low. Click this notification. Be en route to a gas station. I'm like, oh, hell no. CarPlay no. told you your fuel's low? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm like, I use yo. CarPlay every day on uh, these Isuzu trucks. They don't do that shit. But yeah, it does CarPlay. My my beef with it, like that's the only reason I don't have it in my car. It's just it just shows your phone. It I weird. kinda fucks with it. No, I like it when it's on. I just don't like how like sometimes you gotta navigate through it. I'd rather just do it through my phone. But yeah, I mean time, you don't you have driving. to though. Like you could still use your phone normally. It's more convenient though, for sure. Like for the maps, bro, and like <laughs> fucking if you want to send a voice text message. That's real my quick, favorite yeah. thing to use CarPlay for Easy, is directions. Bro. It's just Easy, big ass bro. ring right there. And then uh, our truck's got backup cameras. I appreciate that. Backup well. cameras are nice, bro. I like that. Backup cameras are nice, man. I fucks with backup cameras, man. These cars oh, are nice. kind of getting too futuristic though. This fucking thing was weaving my shit back into the lane i'm like bro i'm really? like what the fuck is this like i'm driving and shit nigga and it's just like hitting me hard swerve we had aim assist now you I'm got like, lane what assist the brother fuck? <laughs> i'm like yo i'm like no i had to figure out i nigga, i pulled over and turned that shit off i'm like this shit's going that shit will kill you before anything Literally. uh i think i read or i watched a podcast where i either read an article that uber Same. wants to launch a fleet of self-driving cars that's already Lyft. a thing Lyft. Lyft has that's already, already a thing in California. they already did yeah. it yeah. There's like 10 of them right now. You've probably seen them on social media. Videos going viral of driverless taxis in San Francisco causing traffic jams. This is what our country's come to. <laughs> and as the frustrations grow, the oversight seems to be on its own jerky ride. Just a week and a half ago, California regulators voted to allow two companies, Waymo and Cruise, to start offering 24-7 autonomous taxi service. But over the weekend, California's DMV demanded that Cruise cut its operating fleet in half while they investigate recent crashes. Walking down the streets of San Francisco, you almost can't miss these driverless robo-taxis. And even though the city by the bay is a famously tolerant place, these newcomers are getting a pretty wide range of reactions. I think it, the technology is amazing. It feels like we were, we're living with the Jetsons. <laughs> I think it's not safe, despite them saying it is safe. I think it's going just one step too far. Yeah. That's already a thing in California. That How do you guys scary. feel about that? Fuck no, I ain't getting I'm in that scared. car, bro. No. And you know they have a, they have a, I think, I think from, from the article, they have a tip option? Somebody, but there's no driver. Somebody Are you tipping the company? It's, You're yeah, probably it's tipping to, like the people who developed do it. The car and stuff. But like dog, like my whole thing is like somebody could hack into that shit if they Literally. really wanted to mm -hmm. and send that bitch off the cliff at sixty miles per hour and nothing and, and lock the doors. What are you Literally. gonna do? That's why I never really cared about Tesla, bro, with like, the self driving bro. feature. That's too that's, I don't I don't I much. wanna drive I mean, myself. I mean bro. that's cool too, but like nah. to a certain extent. It's though, too much trust. You know? You've seen them videos of people falling asleep driving Tesla and the People, Tesla fucks up. Yeah, that's like, people breaking the system. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, that's fuck wild, that. Bro. I would never fall asleep behind the wheel. And like, if like I, like I told you, like I told you, man, my longest road trip was I did sixteen hours mm -hmm. in one day. That's driving, wild, bro. And like, dog, like longest I done was like six. Like I can't, I can't do. Uh, yes, eighteen, brother. I did sixteen hours, bro, with like a thirty minute nap. Well, uh, well, I'll say, Dang. I'll say like. 50 minutes of sleep. I'm flying. Because I took, point. in the morning, in the morning, I took a 20 minute nap on the way. The longest I'd probably do, maybe with a, a secondary driver, is maybe 10 hours, That's maybe 12. Crazy. But like, I like I'll drive five. The other one drive. Five. I will say this though, like if I'm doing something like that, like I do prefer those 20 minute naps because not only do you feel refreshed. Hell yeah. But you don't get that sluggish feeling. Power like naps are raw, bro. Not even power naps, because my power naps are 30, 40 yeah. minutes. Mine you know are, what I'm yeah, mine's about the same. <laughs> and I still wake up like, Grog. I could go back to sleep type shit. Yeah. You but me? once you fight that, you're good. No, you know but I, mean? I don't I feel like for the rest of the oh, day, no, you I feel kind of sluggish. You know what I mean? It, for me, it's uh, what time you take the nap in the day, too. You know what I'm saying? If I'm taking a nap at maybe like 1, 2 o'clock. That's prime nap hours. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> that is, but that's, that, that's the time where. That's prime. If for real. I'll either sleep. If I sleep at like 1 or 2, I'll sleep either a long-ass time 
or I'll do like that power shit. I'll mm-hmm. sleep until like two, but then I'll feel sluggish and I can definitely go back to sleep. But that's when I fight it and I'm like, fuck it. I already napped a little bit. It's the middle of the day. Let's get shit done. Hell no. But usually I try to get anything I usually have to do. I try to get it done mad early. I don't Me know too. why. I usually don't like doing stuff in the afternoon. I'm an old man in my little or er, in my uh, early twenties. Well, I bedtime feel like for it's me is eight just, o'clock. You, know, <laughs> you just want to get. <clears throat> I mean, I be staying up sometimes for mm-hmm. real. Yesterday was like weird. yesterday. I stayed up till one thirty. Yeah, yesterday was notes weird for, for me. This. Uh, ten Writing o'clock. Notes for today's episode. Ten o'clock. I was at my brother's. We were smoking cigars and shit. And then I went home. Yeah, nigga, you smoking cigars, nigga? What yeah. you know about the cigar yeah. game, nigga? He's getting me into him. I, my brother, like, he goes to the cigar that nicotine high shit. from a cigar is crazy, ain't it? Bro, it's nice. Like, it's me, crazy though. Like your first one off of a cigar. That's why I feel like uh, no, my first first time smoking a cigar was a, smoking a cigar was a few years ago in Florida, and I hated it. But then my brother, he's I told you though that you do, weren't smoking the right one. If yeah, you, that's why I told you. My brother was because I was smoking cigars after you came back. Remember, I was I had yep. my cigar phase, nigga. I was smoking like mm-hmm. a like a, like a cigar a day. Yeah, I'm, I'm smoking them now. My brother's getting me into them, and uh, we did it last night. And then I came home, and my girl went to sleep. I did not go to sleep until three a.m. I just kept playing the game. And cigars are nice for sure. Game. Yeah. I smoke one today. A that nigga's uh, hearing though. It's crazy. You don't even inhale know. that smoke. No. Nope. You just let it roll in your mouth and then you spit it like not. You could feel it, it sometimes. It you could feel it. I feel a little going mm. down your throat like a little though, even though you don't. But that's okay it. though. Like that little minuscule. That's what like, it's supposed but to do. What it is though, how it really works though, is like your pores in your mouth absorb it. So yeah. that's why it's so much tobacco. Yeah, it's it's nice though. I'm not gonna lie. I smoke one today too. A. Uh, I forgot the brand. Yesterday I smoked an acid one. Today was a. I be smoking. Uh, I like Monte Cristos. Monte Cristos. Those ones smell good. Those ones are like regular. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like the, I think the craziest flavor I did was a. Uh, it wasn't like this coffee infused, but it was like a. It had like this like chocolate smell. You know mm. what I'm saying? I'm like mine was a. There you go. Mine was a Camacho. <laughs> it was a big ass fucking one though. But uh, it lasts forever. Like, I was just taking my time. Hell, with I think I got my cigar splitter around here somewhere. I got My brother gave me one, so now I got one and shit, though. He's got, like, the humidor and different brands and shit. Like, he's, oh, he's about nigga, it. That nigga's about it. Yeah, bro. He's like Andrew Tate. <coughs> <coughs> he's like Andrew Tate. The top G. Yeah, that's how, my, <laughs> that's how my brother is, bro. He, like, he really... Uh, he really likes Andrew Tate. That's like wild. he has a bunch of watches. He's got a bunch of uh, he, like he works out. He does like Ugati. fighting though. Ugati. Ugati's and shit. <laughs> Hell That's yeah. Wild to me. But uh, yeah, he's getting me into cigars and they're pretty nice. Yeah. I, I think I'm gonna do them here and there. Yeah, the ones you first started smoking were good. Regular plates or paper plates? Paper. Mm. I'm paper all day. Paper. If I got them, it's paper. Yeah. Oh yeah, if I have on a regular paper. day, even on a party. Paper. paper, paper plates. Fuck y'all! Throw that shit away. <laughs> I'm not I gonna lie. Initiative. I never, I never really cared. It's usually paper, like anywhere I used to go, yeah. like as a child. Uh, now, um, it's I have a couple plates. friends with like they use like regular plates. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter, but like if I had a choice, yeah, paper, it's man. You don't, paper. you don't got to do dishes. You can, uh, no. you can pile a lot of. They're they're durable. They're terrible. You know what I'm saying? You, you just can pack squish. a whole ass. Depending on which ones you get. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. You get those styrofoam ones. You got a you got a two piece that hole. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got a double d- double cup it. You yeah, feel you me? got a you got a two piece that yeah, hole to yeah. make sure it's durable. But if you got if you got the the ones, you know, they're durable. You can pack a good amount of plates on it. Some people use them, them for uh, for care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those Dixie Dixies. Ultra. Hey, if I see a nigga with a Dixie fucking paper plate, I'm like, oh, they got it. You yeah, got bro. money. Yo, you know, uh, you know, it's you can really. Take, take out hold on, Dixie. hold on. You time up. Fuck that. Fuck getting takeout now. You know what I really experienced, and I, I wish I could do that for me, What's but that? I'll explain it why. Nigga, oh. shout out to all my old coworkers in my construction company, dog. The first barbecue I ever went to, you know what I'm saying? I bring me, I bring rice and shit like that. They're, they're, they put me on a smoke meat, so they mm-hmm. smoking hella shit. Mm-hmm. And they're like, yeah, Reg, get a takeout plate. I'm like, all right, yeah, bet. You know, I go. Boom, boom. I go get me a regular plate, fixing mm-hmm. about to fix me one. They're like, What you doing, Reg? They're like the takeout containers are over there. <laughs> takeout containers. I turn and look over I turn and look over, nigga. They got those aluminum pans with lids, nigga. Literally. Oh, the wait, yeah. whoa. When you said takeout, when you said takeout containers, I thought it was the one with like three sections. Nigga, no, yeah, we have oh, no. Yeah, no, it these wasn't are, that. Yeah. These are those. Mm-hmm. Damn. 
They the got it. With a lid. They got they money. They got it. Talking about some, yeah, Reg, that's going. That's for leftovers. Hey. I, I thought crazy. you was talking about that clothes. If I went bitch, crazy. Oh. Three if I went and did that for like my family and shit like that. <laughs> there would be no food to eat At by all. the time it's to eat because everybody in my family, we're the type of niggas. Well, I ain't the type of nigga, but <laughs> they're the type of niggas <laughs> to fucking make a plate before they eat, make their yes. plate to eat. And you I fucking to. like, depending on the person, I hate that shit. Yeah. Like, mm. I'd be like, I'd be like, you motherfucking like. Because you know especially they don't pitch in, you don't bring no food. Right, you ain't you over nothing. here eating. Right, you yeah. just making you a plate you and bouncing. Eating? What's up? You, uh, you fuck with leftovers, both of y'all? Hell yeah, nigga. I, it just, it depends for me, honestly. Yeah, she's. Yeah, it depends what food I feel. Yeah. Like, honestly, though, for me, though, like, I don't know, if I cook that whole. He don't discriminate. Oh, fuck he that. don't discriminate, and that's good. I put that shit up. That's you know good. What I'm saying? That's lunch tomorrow. You for me, me, it depends what food. All right. For example, like spaghetti, or not even spaghetti, but meat sauce. Right. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's only me and her, so like they don't really sell like small packs. Like the sm- even the we buy the smallest packs of meat that you could buy. Yep. And it's still too much. So it's not just me. I was thinking it was just me, bro. I was buying small packs and making crazy Mm -hmm. amounts. What we do is we just... Damn, I just burped into the mic, too. Ah, My bad. (laughs) uh, What we do is, uh, like, so, like, for, like, we took the meat sauce that we didn't eat Mm. that I hold in the freezer. Same night. Okay. That way, whenever we feel lazy, you know what I mean? We'd be like, all right. We want something home cooked, but we don't want nothing home cooked. Like to cook nothing crazy. Right. When you pull that meat sauce, nigga, wham! Throw that hole in the uh, pot, smidge of water. So good. Bring it back to life. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Do your noodles, nigga. Like, bro, this is a two pot situation, bro. You throw mm. your garlic <laughs> bread. You throw your garlic bread in there, bro. You're done. It's so like good. what? So good. And, it always and it's gonna better. taste. Even better, I'm telling you. My bad, y'all. Even he just, like he just even mentioned like, garlic bread. I'm, I'm even like chili, bro. I'm ready to chili. Go. You know what? I'll even argue that meat sauce and chili are way better the next day. Oh, a hundred percent. I'll argue that. Me okay. too. All day. I'll die on that All hill. All day, bro. Okay. All day. I'll die on that hill. Yeah. Um, spaghetti. I'll agree. I don't usually eat chili, so bro. I'll agree with spaghetti though. Bro, have do you like chili? I think no. I do because I accident. I ordered a. Uh, I ordered yeah because I. Ordered I could have swore I made chili the we one did. time you came over for dinner. You had you tried chili like basically for your first I time. I think over I had here. a. I think I had Salisbury steak you and uh, burrito Salisbury. tacos. All right, yeah. so look, yeah, not the chili. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This like I y'all heard it, y'all ain't hear this shit off camera, but this nigga be eat, I'm gonna put him on blast again. Oh. He be eating, yo, he be eating chicken tenders for a living and lunchables. You feel me? All I right, be putting you know them what? on. You I be making. Hold on, hold on. I'm the I'm smoke the chemist. Okay, I'm a certified <laughs> chef. Okay, yeah, you know what? look at this gut, yo. You know what? You call like, I'm me a, a certified small chef, kid eater. I call myself simple. Okay, and simple men Fuck. are amazing. Okay, I'm I'm everybody. I know oh, though. You want I a know. steak? I ain't. I ain't hating on. I ain't Potatoes. hating on the simple living. I don't get it twisted. I love simple living. I'm not hating on the simple. Give living. me a dino nugget. But all I'm saying is, my nigga, diversify your bonds. Diversify I'm slowly doing bonds. it thanks to you. You, like I said, I, I hated, I hated Salisbury steak. Butt. You made me uh, eat it. It's all right. Oh. I, I'll, I'll, I would eat and it again. And if you like that, sure. you would like meatloaf. Burrito tacos. I'll eat them again. Meatloaf. Fuck. Yo, Reggie. I'm gonna say it right yo, here on fucking. No, this hold, nigga on. Got a hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna yo. say it right here on fucking camera. Meatloaf. If meat shouldn't be in the form of a loaf. It's the worst. Oh, um, I think he I can say burgers. this. I'm 24, he loves but Salisbury it's the steak. Like, what is this nigga meat talking loaf about? is the worst fucking thing. A ever burger made. is a loaf right on here. a patty, bro. That's fucking disgusting. It's that's too much on, meat. There's ketchup on it. Onions. It doesn't have to be ketchup. It can that's be gravy. disgusting. Oh, don't put gravy. You like the Salisbury steak, bro? The Salisbury steak is dead ass the same thing, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, fuck me, bro. I'm, fuck lettuce too. Yo, we doing fuck lettuce. Uh, fuck lettuce. Fuck lettuce. Such a simple vegetable, <laughs> man. I get like like my, my like my man Mike Epps, bro. I'm gonna make an album. It's called Yeah. Fuck lettuce. Do you remember fuck lettuce? I remember fuck yeah, lettuce. Yeah, fuck, fuck lettuce. lettuce. But all I'm saying is, bro, diversify oh, your Mike bonds, Epps. my nigga. I'm slowly doing it. I'm slowly doing it. For real, like, you I'm, definitely have helped. I like chocolate. Now remember, I told you I never like chocolate. I'm gonna make you like eat sweets. potato salad. He made me eat potato salad too, and I never liked it, <laughs> but it was really good. I'm gonna make you eat my potato salad. Wait. That was really good, though. I, I ain't playing, bro. <laughs> I ain't playing, bro. When I say I be in the kitchen, I be doing this, my nigga. I'm not eating. It was really good. Salad, bro. 
You're eating the potato salad, bro. You're going to eat. Bro, You, we made a deal, bro. He's trying everything once, bro, in front of me, bro, if he hasn't tried it before. Oh, yeah. By the way about that, you haven't cooked for me in a while. What's up, man? <laughs> yo. <laughs> What's the deal, yo? All right. We'll do something. I'm going to make you Brussels sprouts, nigga. They're so good. He just. Well, I want you to try this because it's the green vegetable. Every time I've tried to cook her a little something extra, she just refuses. Just try a little taste. Don't just stare at it, eat it. <sighs> Fuck's sake, man, you amateur. I can't, I can't. Come here, man. Just started like that. Never, no, Dude, this he will just be started my last them, day okay? on no. this podcast. You know what? Be that as this it may. This will be my last day, bro. Be that as it may. What he said earlier still stands. Diversify your bonds. Brussels sprouts. That's what Diversify. I'm saying, bro. Eat I'm them trying to Brussels. Eat, a lot of vegetables, bro. eat I ain't those gonna Brussels. Lie. I'm about to be strong like Popeye. Ooh. I'm Popeye. Eat that spinach. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, oh, well, you know what? Sauteed spinach ain't bad. It's really good. Never and raw spinach. spinach. Well, you know, I haven't had sautéed spinach. This is just sounding disgusting. But regular raw spinach and some is salad. good. Eat it on a sandwich. Oh, my God, bro. You'd be like, Jesus, uh, man. You're like, uh, Like, bro, I, I feel like I could rob you. <laughs> With lettuce. With fucking, ooh, beef stew. That's a very mm, good way to break you disgusting. in. That sounds disgusting. That's a very good way to. Oh. Why rice? You guys like gumbo? Yeah. Have you fucking seen gumbo? Gumbo is delicious. Yeah. It looks hey, disgusting. You know what I want to have? Jambalaya. Jambalaya is delicious. You're Don't wild. know what it looks like. Never heard of it. Mm. Or, no, Chicken and it. sausage jambalaya. You're wild. Uh, 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 <laughs> oh, God. It's so good. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Mmm. So good and tasty. Mmm. Mmm. Yo, I be looking at those fucking oh videos, God. yo. I be looking at them and I be whispering. I be like, ooh, like, yeah, dump that fucking chicken and sausage in that pot, nigga. You sear tuned, that bitch you've up. tuned into sensual sounds. I, I be like, I be like, sear that bitch up real nice. Like, <laughs> they be like, they be like, yeah, we we done seared up the chicken and now let's add our holy trinity: huh. onions, peppers. Mm. <sighs> Yeah, <laughs> I don't really like what's going on right now. Yeah, that should, this should be room. banging. That should be banging. It's, it's I ain't gonna lie. He said you could put that on a cracker, dude. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo, yo a and then that, that's be all oh, they I do because this is for the non seafood lovers. Like, I'm not a, I'm not a seafood hater, but I'm skeptical on some shit. Like, but give me some scrams. What do you mean? Wait, wait. I'm, I'm trying to understand. What do you I mean like by salmon? Skeptical? Like, you know what I'm okay. saying? Like, I like crab. Like, I don't like fish that tastes like fish. That got that fishy oh, ass okay. smell. All right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's I like why that I don't good eat fish. fish. The smell, like, just that fish good fish. Meal. Even though I want to go to a fish fry. So, anybody that knows me or anybody that watched this, if y'all got a fish fry going on, holla at your boy. Mm. Hit him up. I'll pull up. Mm. But yeah. Don't man. hit me up. Go you on. need to try that shit though. Diversify your bonds. Nah. You fish stick cool. eating. Open ass, your nigga. taste buds. Fish sticks. I, 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 I fish sticks like taste like. I've chicken never had a fish stick and I, I never want to. Like I said, I accidentally ate shrimp before or a uh, popcorn oh, shrimp before, and I my life has never been the same. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. I got I've been in therapy ever since. Do you believe in a door test? A what? The door test. The door test. See, look, answer a medicine when I do. You're mentioning a here. lot of shit that I don't know, man. What's up? What's what the, the fuck test? you mean, bro? What's Listen, you, obviously you've never seen one of the greatest hood classics, Bronx Tale. She's your first great one. Thanks a lot, son. I, I think I'm gonna go for it. She's a good kid, this girl. I don't know. I just met her yesterday, but I hope so. Oh, here's what you do. Tomorrow you borrow my car. You don't lend anybody your car. It's all right. I'm gonna lend you my car. I want you to make a good impression. You borrow my car. And then you give her the test. What, the Mario test? Mario? Mario's a fucking psycho. What do you listen to this kid for? You give her my test. You give her the door test. What's the door test? All right, listen to me. You pull her right where she is, right? Before you get out of the car, you lock both doors. Man, you get out of the car, you walk over to her. You bring her over to the car. You take out the key, you put in the lock, open the door for her. Then you let her get in. Then you close the door for her. And you walk around the back of the car and you look through the rear window. 
If she doesn't reach over, lift up that button for you so you can get in, dump her. Just like that? Listen to me, kid. If she doesn't reach over, lift up that button for you so you can get in, that means she's a selfish broad, and all you're seeing is the tip of the iceberg. You dump her, you dump her fast. Yeah, what about all the beautiful things you just told me, though? Do what my heart tells me to do. It's all that matters. Find someone to pull into my cells. I mean, hey, this could be one of the great ones. Bullshit, kid. The door test, that's what counts. You dump her, and you dump her fast. Dump her? Dump. My brother didn't mean. Your brother? Where's your car? Give me the keys. Come on, we gotta go. Come on. What are you talking about? We gotta get there. True. Sweeter than the taste of a cherry, so sweet. Yes. yes. And I'm so proud. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of you. I knew you were one of the great ones. So great ones? Well, what are you talking about? Uh, never mind. It's an Italian thing. If you have to unlock the door yourself. That's the door test. So she will... I believe in it. She'll unlock the door that shit's if I'm real. taking a little too long. But usually I go to the door, unlock it, open it, and then I let her walk in. I close All right. Because a nigga can walk right. behind I'm not sure how many of these episodes she watches. Okay. But this is what you got to do. Do the door test. All right. Hit me. I mean, even though you guys have been together so long, you can't really dump her. But still, you got to do the door test to see what's up. All right. You know what I'm saying? You gotta walk around the back. Even though I think, honestly, I don't know if it's gonna work for you, player. <laughs> oh my god! I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Oh you already know the outcome, and you're proposing this idea to you me. You gotta do it, though. You gotta all do right, it, and you gotta right. educate. All right. All regardless. Right. Next episode. But you walk around the back. Don't walk around the front to get to your door fast. Oh walk no, I I can back. do it around the back. I got a truck. I gotta go. Around yeah, the walk head. around the back, and take you a couple seconds, man. But that's the thing. I told you, she's impatient. So if I do take a couple seconds, for sure, that door is going to be locked. She's going to she's gonna she'll rummage be. through her shit. <laughs> like, if, like, usually I'll get out the car, and then I'll go, and she's waiting at the door for like a millisecond. Like, I'm right there. But okay, right. if I'm waiting a little or finding some shit or gathering I believe some shit, door test. she's rummaging lie. through her shit to get in the door if I take too long. You okay. feel me? So, I mean, okay. the door test, I already know the outcome. It's just if I'm taking too long. Right, right. That's all I'm saying, cells. bro. Do the door test. I'll do it, though. But what's? Never mind. You know what? Never mind. We don't got. We don't got to elaborate. We're cool. We're cool. I'll do the door test. You gotta do the door test, man. I need a. I need a pet peeve. I got a few, man. I, wanna, <laughs> I got. A few. I need something that really grinds your gears. I love that. Thanks, Tom. You know what really grinds my gears? Um. Like. Just in general, in or with general, this? okay. The first thing that like really fucking messes with you. Just nor just human behavior in general. I would say. Um, no, nah, hold on. Let me see. I might even think I have a few, bro. First thing that came to your head. Um. Damn, I don't even know. Hold on, I gotta think. Yeah, I would have y'all go first. Let me think about this. What about you? Well, just like you said, you know what I'm saying? Let's piggyback off of that. The NPCs. <laughs> There's like, I swear on everything I love. You just said you experienced that shit I was talking about that one episode about life. Yeah, people living like, yeah, You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Shout out and to the Boomy Bars. And you know what I'm saying? You've seen what I was talking about. Yeah. But now that you've seen what I was talking about, you could also now see, if you really look for it, the people that, like, can't be real. Like, shit cannot be real what these people are doing. Oh, if we're we're talking that, I actually have a... You That's said what not I real. mean. That's what I mean by an NPC. No, because, for sure. Like, I don't get me wrong. Like, everybody is a person. But, like, people... Some people be just doing some shit that, like, can't be real. Like, you be sitting here, like... Like, you're, like, sitting here like a GTA character. Like, no lie. Like, what the fuck's going on? No, I'm, uh... One one day I thought, like, this shit can't be real, like an NPC type of situation. I was walking through a park, and this park had, like, trails. And we're just walking, and we're, like, a mile into the trail. Like, it's in some woods. And then coming the opposite way, like, coming back towards us is a dude... But, like, it's a weird, like, he looks like he, he's just, he's not in frame. Like, he shouldn't be in this scenario. He was wearing pink over, like, bright-ass pink overalls. 
bright ass pink that's fuck? and boots and he was bald and his hands were in his pockets and he was walking like low key I'm not gonna lie like a robot you know like kind of coordinated stop it get some help and I remember walking past him like bro he's wearing bright ass pink overalls there's like really no facial expression he's bald uh, and that day I'm not gonna lie on the boomy bars but that's like what I'm saying I seen him and I'm like he kind of he looks out of place and then I turned like while we were walking past him a little more, we turned around. He stopped walking at a certain point. We were looking at him, and he's just sitting there with his hands in his pockets with these bright-ass pink overalls. And I'm like, bro, he looks too out of place. Mm-hmm. And uh, my girl at the time was also on the boomy bars. And then she goes, I don't know her. We're walking. We're not talking to her. And she just goes, sometimes shit don't feel real. And I looked at her, and I was bro, it immediately true. triggered me. And I go, why did you say that? And she goes... <sighs> The dude with the bright pink overalls, he just looks so out of place. I'm like, bro, that's what I'm saying, bro. That's how it be. It was crazy. That was that was definitely a weird point in my life. And that was recent Uh, as fuck. That was like a month ago. Yeah, you'd be like sitting here just like, what the fuck is going on? Like, like, whose man's is this? Like, what's going on? Like, it it was definitely weird. And the fact that we looked back and he stopped walking too, it was I don't know. It it just looked too weird. My my most recent NPC oh. story, bro, is nigga like I was a a rap judge at this contest, like a vendor, mm. super late contest, man. Shout out at my people. You feel me? I don't know if they want to be advertised or not. You know All what right, I'm saying? Right. So that's why I want to keep it on the D low. Shout out to but people. Anyways, nigga, I'm vendoring this bitch. I swear on everything I love, bro. We're standing at our stand, bro. This fucking dude Mm. comes. You could tell he's definitely not from, like, Mm -hmm. from the hood. You feel me? Like, he's from the suburbs type shit. Mm -hmm. And this nigga is, like, he's just asking us questions after questions. He's a rapper that's Mm -hmm. supposed to be performing. And then he goes, yo, real talk. I ain't gonna lie. Is this place safe? (laughs) I started rolling. Am I okay here? Like, I'm like, what the fuck is going on, bro? So I'm like, like you're maybe, the one who 50, came 50, here. Maybe. I'm like, you're the one who came here. Literally. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? I don't know what's going to happen. You might be. I don't know. Shit was hilarious, bro. How was like, he on stage? Terrible. <laughs> terrible. Terrible, bro. Terrible, bro. Like, there is some people, like, don't get me wrong. I support everybody to do what they want to do. Like, honestly, like, I'm just in front of this camera just talking shit for the fuck of it. You know what I'm saying? I encourage people to do what they want to do. But, like, when it comes to that music, dog. And you want to, like, spread it and send it to people. Somebody got to tell you your shit's ass, my nigga. Mm -hmm. Nobody should have never let that man even produce that song that he produced. This nigga was on the stage, like, oh, you niggas... I'm an alpha male, you niggas pussy feline. Like, I'm like, what? I'm like, yo. I'm like, these are the fucking hot shots you got, my nigga. I'm like, yo, get the fuck off the stage. The I was a rap judge, bro, and I was like, he is not making it to the next round. Off oh rip, bro. God. I was like, off rip. I was like, this <laughs> shit's terrible, bro. But then, on the other hand, you got niggas that are super talented. Yeah. Yeah, there for was, sure. There was a lot of people there who... You know what I mean? And it's a fucking crazy-ass phenomenon because these men, these people haven't blew up. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah, these people, I mean, they were, they well, were like, amazing. These niggas, like, yeah. know how to do a show type shit. Mm-hmm. You feel Hyping me? Hyping up the crowd. But that's crazy, though, because you'll have a motherfucker like him blow up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, yeah. like, but it was, I don't know. yeah. I don't know, like, when I was a teenager and shit, like, I was around all the local rappers and shit like that, and that shit. Mm -hmm. Like, I seen how the fame be hitting them and shit like that, and I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. People change. That dollar changed a lot of people, and it's not even, like, they weren't even, like, getting paid. Mm -hmm. They were just, like, building that heat in the city. You know what I'm saying? Right, That fan base, you know? Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like people that listen to Doughboy before yeah. he was Doughboy type shit. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird as fuck. Because, like, just seeing all these people, like, they're just regular people just like us. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? They right. always yeah. will be, but... At the end of the day, every, any people, anybody that got, like, some heat, 
mm-hmm. to their name. You feel me? It's just you know. That's why it's I've I feel like I appreciate a lot of like the underground interviews that they me do too. with rappers because like you really see like they're kind of just people. Yeah. Like you kind of get that humanity side to them. Because I used to when I was younger, it's just like oh famous people. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. really have that like same kind of thing now because no. I'm just like this is just a person who's famous for what they do. Yeah. And like you'll see the interviews and they're kind of down to earth and they're answering. It's a they're, comfortable they're just, feeling. Nobody better than that nigga uh, Keanu Reeves. Oh yeah, I love. Keanu oh yeah, he's my boy. Good. That boy is a real gentleman, man. Shout out Keanu. I just uh, a couple weeks ago just watched that uh, Forty Seven Ronin for the first time. Mm. Mm. Weird. Weird. I movie. still never watched John Wick. <laughs> next question. <laughs> I said I never still watched John <laughs> Wick. Next. Uh, next top. It's not that like it's like oh damn you haven't watched John Wick. It's just like it's 2023 and you still haven't watched any. I of haven't them. watched yeah. not one John Wick. You told me the first movie's like main premises and it did not interesting. So that's my beef with the home. The movie's badass, <laughs> but my whole beef with the movie is just like I understand, like they did kill his dog, <laughs> but like the only thing they did to get this man back in like the whole killing lifestyle and the body count he had at number one. They just took his car and oh my, killed yeah. his dog. And I get it. It was the last gift from his dying wife and shit. What the fuck ever. But what like, the bro, fuck's going on? They kill your dog and steal your car and you rack up at least 70 bodies. Oh and God. you're back in. You're thinking you're back in this assassin life, bro. I don't know. I just thought it was it was a lot. But That's the movies are promise. badass and great. Uh, I'm not going to argue that. But the whole reason for him getting back in, I think it's kind of minute. I feel like <laughs> yeah. they could have done more. But yeah, that little puppy in that car. That this puppy. man said, "I'm back in the assassination game. Oh I'm killing anybody and everybody." Like, what are we doing? Like, yeah. come on now. And then it, like I said, it led to three more movies. This man is back in the game just off of that. Oh my god! Like shit. Piggyback off of three more movies. Mm. Fast and Furious. How many <laughs> Stop is that too shit, many? Bro. Oh, Stop it, bro. I'm tired. I stopped watching, I believe, at Fast Five. That shit I'm is tired. crazy. I think Fast y'all Five Y'all niggas was really lost it when y'all niggas decided to go to space. Like, what the y'all got fuck I'm is tired. that, bro? <laughs> y'all got rock. Dwayne, uh, y'all, niggas y'all got like Rock, 12 fucking Jason things, Statham, bro. Jason y'all Momoa. Niggas. He's so, bro. I watched that trailer. I watched the trailer of the movie. I'm like, this dude is so out of place. Yeah, these in niggas this movie. got more movies than Harry Potter. They got John <laughs> Cena. See, that doesn't even make sense. You can't to even me. see him, and he's in the movie. That doesn't bro. even make sense to me. I don't know. And then you seen the girl, uh, Letty, from the movie. They were on the. Uh, she was on an interview, and they were like, "What movie should they stop making?" And they were like, "Another Marvel or Avengers movie." She's like, "They just need to stop." And it cuts to like a dude. Like, are you really talking? <laughs> you really saying this right now? <laughs> Y'all going to space? My whole thing is when they, when they, like I said, I stopped that Fast Five when they were dropping cars out of fucking airplanes. There's tanks now and shit. I'm yeah, like, no. oh, we was yeah, street racing. Yeah, that shit was we was racing crazy. in the Literally. street. Bro. That shit was getting crazy. That's like the fast. the more crazy these stunts got, I'm like, yo, what the fuck is really it's getting wild? Going and then on? it's like, to on? me, I'm not shaming nobody because I mean, no. people gain weight, people lose weight. But like Vin Diesel now, they got this man Dom Toretto. <sighs> y- y'all know him as like this buff ass. Like now yeah. he's he's gaining some you know weight. Dom Toretto. He's it's getting for older. The family. <laughs> it's for the family, bro. He's eating for the family too. It's Stop. crazy. I'm so dead. But uh, you know, shout out Vin Diesel, bro. I actually love Vin Diesel. He's, I got a lot of movies from him. I like. Fast and Like shit's crazy. But bro. yeah, that's a lot of movies. Please that's, stop. That's a lot of them for sure. Stay out of space. Stay out of... Why are we in space, man? Stay out of space. Well, stay on the ground. Why don't we go back to street racing? All right, people. Oh, I seen this. All right. Yeah, for sure. Definitely got to watch this. Look at this. Show, All right, bro. people. We were camping the other day, and uh, my son wanted some grits. This shit is eat. so crazy. So we didn't have a bowl or anything to make them in, so I told him. I said, look, get your grits, put them in a, a bottle. Put the water in them and let them set. You right know, on, brother. You can heat the water up on the, let the fire I'm go, I'm and let them set, it. and they'll cook. Well, so he takes the grits, and we're gonna show y'all what happened. So he takes his grits, he opens them up. Look here, instant grits, mm. butter flavored. Butter flavored. We're gonna mm. use a bunch. We're just gonna put a little bit. That shit is scary. So he takes his instant grits. No bullshit. Them in the bottle. Excuse me. We'll just. We'll be nasty with it. Okay, so 
A little grits. A little grits. He went ahead and added his pepper. So we'll put pepper in there. He added his pepper. No, oh, this, this, this ain't, this ain't like, uh, like what he was pepper eating. Pepper does. You know, okay. He just sees it waste all pepper. Okay. And he added his He's water. He's doing this to speed it up. That makes sense. So That's a lot of pepper. Show y'all what like, happened. Like I said, he's just doing this to speed it up. Is that pepper Once he about the uh, added all these ingredients? That's like a gunpowder in there. He uh wait. What the heck? He shook it up. And he was mixing it up. Well we noticed that the bottle was starting to uh get tight. Oh. Get tighter, tighter, <laughs> tighter. So I was like, okay, y'all need to put that bottle down because it's like really getting tight. So this is what you're eating, people. For real? Wait. Keep watching. I'm watching right on, brother. Pay attention. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got scared. Where did it go? <laughs> I'll tell you where it, tell you where it went. It disintegrated. Uh uh. It disintegrated. It fucking Bro. exploded. Literally. Bro, like, this shit is scary. That's wild. That's shit you could buy off of your storage shelf. Yo, Patreon, let's do happened, this. And he happened to contain that shit. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. never really expected someone to do that. Mix him contained. And that shit exploded, bro. And y'all heard of that shit. That shit was like a gunshot. Yo, Patreon, let's let's go outside and do it. He cracked. He cracked that whole. We got no grits. Crazy. Let's go, let's, we could get them. grits. It's affordable. I think we can get them. Crazy. Get I think we would have to get the same brand to test that out. But bro, quick girl, tell you yeah, that's Shane. wild. Bro, we should do that. Like, Imagine bro, that happening. ain't that shit crazy though? I don't eat grits, so I mean, I think I'm safe I don't for eat, now. I don't Neither. eat grits, but the, imagine, though, that's just who do. one item that people consume that's That'd made for human Someone... consumption. We don't know Ooh. what the fuck we're eating, nigga. You're eating Tyson chicken nuggets from the factory. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's right, whoa. Jose. Show some respect. Show, <laughs> Show some, some respect. respect. I'm just Thanks. saying, though. Show some respect. I'm just saying, the though. The last time yeah. I had a Tyson chicken nugget. Four days ago. Like from the store, Tyson. Wow, <laughs> like man, years, years, years. Nigga, years. the last chicken tender you ate. I had a twelve chicken, hours. I had ago. a chicken nugget a couple of days ago. McDonald's, you know what I'm saying? It's not necessarily a tender. A McNugget. Yeah, yeah, a That's McNugget. What I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. That's all I'm saying, man. We don't know what's in the. Yeah. And then I get, I get shit, down and dirty when I get McDonald's. Even the meat's not good, bro. If yeah. you ain't, if you don't have your own farm, or, yeah, so, you know what I'm saying that shit ain't so, good, bro. Nigga. I'm just saying, bro. We dying, bro. Slowly, you know. Yeah, yes, and it's delicious dying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I, I, I don't give a shit no more, bro. It's it's sweet just, and salted ass, and like you don't even know if the healthy food you eat is cool too. Like, you know, <laughs> fuck it. Eat what you want, bro. This, you gonna die anyway, bro. Like, I'm gonna go out. Would you rather grow out with fucking celery in your stomach go or some bacon. nuggets, bro? Like, what you? I go out with that bacon. Give me only red forty. Don't get me started on bacon, red bro. 40? If I die tomorrow, you got kale in you. I got fucking <laughs> a barbecue burger. Like what you mean? Who said I'm against the barbecue? You like barbecue? I be barbecuing my ass what's off. Your Even favorite, though what's your favorite barbecue sauce? sauce? Even though this season. <laughs> Favorite barbecue? Is, yeah, oh, like you stopped in your tracks, That ain't even a question. What's your favorite barbecue? Sweet baby race. <laughs> what the fuck you mean, bro? Bad, but bad. you gotta dock it up though if you're grilling. Yes. If you're a real grill master, you dock it up. Yeah. But man. sweet baby race is good. Open pit is probably oh. second, but it's very gross. Mm -hmm. Like you got. Really, <laughs> yeah, it's. Like, you really got it. My grandpa used to hype you, this shit up, bro. Yo, my grandpa loves that That's shit. So so bad. Why do old people love this? Yo, bro? like I used to hate when he would bust that open pit out. I'd be like, mm. bro, every time like, we get put pizza, that sweet baby rays he'd be on, like, he'd be like, get the whole Joes. I'm like, get the, the JoJo's. Only thing, though, the and only he'd get thing. the open pit out, bro. And he would try to convince us that this barbecue uh. sauce was a man's barbecue sauce and it was the shit. No. The only thing about this the sweet baby good. rays, though, is it has to be. And uh, don't say what I think you about to say. No, like with the sweet baby rays, you have to fucking you don't throw barbecue that shit super early because it's got so much sugar 
in what, there. What flavor of your sweet baby red? Original? Reg- original. My man, okay. You feel me? That honey barbecue's too much honey. Not it's a, too yeah, sweet. it's too sweet. It's too no, sweet. not even I'm not even saying it's too sweet, but I'm saying like when you do it, you have to uh like if you're grilling with that shit, like you know what I'm saying? You don't put that shit on until the very last minute. Yeah, you, you pull that whole out because there's so much sugar in there. That caramelization is gonna go crazy. Mm. Right, right. To where it's gonna burn the meat if you're not careful, like for real. But uh, we're gonna segue on to our first caller yeah. oh, of yes. the Faded Podcast yeah, yeah, and yeah. call it Faded. <laughs> Hello. Yo, yo, what the fuck the deal is? What up, man? Hey. Welcome I'm back. On the game right now. What's going Welcome on? back to the Faded Podcast. What's up, what's up? What up with it with people? How's it going? Shit, man, just playing Modern Warfare 2. Okay. It's just stressful. Get a dub for the Faded oh, Podcast, man. bro. Sure, you playing Modern Warfare. Oh my god, bro. This bit stressful, bro. <laughs> I need to play Minecraft after this. <laughs> oh Settle god. your nerves. <laughs> you hear the Hold controllers. On, you playing Minecraft, my boy? Say it again? Jesus. So you playing Minecraft, my boy? No, nah, Modern Warfare 2. Ooh. I'm playing Infected with the homies right now. You know, Shut just chilling. Nothing crazy. Mm. Still stressful. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> I got a question, man. What's up? I need your pet peeve. Pet peeves? Yeah, what grinds Just your one, gears? Just one pet peeve. Yeah, exactly. What grinds your gears? When I know the person is smart and they do dumbass shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. fair. Like, yeah. I know yeah. they're the smartest yeah. people in the world, but they still end up doing dumb shit. Like, they can be book smart. But yep. they not street smart. That's really yeah. Hey, that's that's Preach. fair. That's fair as yeah, fuck. Yeah, I like that. That shit pisses me off the most. It's cause like, bruh, how the fuck you do so do damn good in school, <laughs> but then you just don't know this simple ass shit. <laughs> I don't know. That's just me though. That's my. That's like the biggest pet peeve. That's fair. Hell yeah. I could even agree with that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hell yeah. So no, what's your pet peeves? Well, shit. We said them earlier, but. You know I'll I mean? tune in. I'll tune in to. I'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, What's the second one? No, the there is no second one. I just want you to uh tell me a wild story, man. Where is this audio coming? Hold on, on, hold on, hold shit. on. Before you say say it. wild story, you gotta. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't make the same mistake again. Let's set some parameters. Um, damn, wild story. I gotta think about it. What so? Shit. Time out though, man. We don't need none. Nothing too graphic. Nothing. Uh... No, yeah. no, nothing. Nothing. I'm not going. I'm not thinking graphic. The, uh, yeah, we TMI. don't need a story. That's TMI stuff. I don't think those are good. Good wild stories. Like I want a fun wild story. All right, um, but let's see. We, we seen what happened. Like, yeah, we, we don't, don't set parameters. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I think the wildest, funniest shit that I've. And like that, I can just say for real is I've done six gram of shrooms with my homeboy who did seven grams. Damn. And that uh, one night, he was just posted. He, oh my sorry, god! What the fuck? <laughs> he was posted. He was posted on my. He was posted on my wall for like <laughs> six hours, bro. What is he, happening? He, right not there. sitting down. Not doing nothing. Just no, wait, hold on. Time out. What's going on in the Could back? You... Someone's on eight grams of oh. shrooms in the back. <laughs> but my son, my son, just having fun with his vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like say he sounds like he's having a great time. Oh my god, no. <laughs> but I don't know. That that's a that's a most wild story I could think of right now. Me eating six grams of shrooms is pretty wild. I'm six grams of shrooms, my nigga. Where where were you at? Uh, I was at my own house. Wise. I mean, headspace wise, wise, I'm not gonna lie. Headspace wise, bro. At that moment in life, you know, I ain't had nothing big dramatic going on. So I was just chilling on the, the trip. So it was a good trip. But man, let me tell you, everybody looked wavy. <laughs> I was I kept staring at people, their faces. You know how like the funny faces start they their face start moving and shit. Yeah. Like it was like moving. 
Like I couldn't stare, make eye contact. And Would then you, what made it worse is I couldn't talk. Every time I talked, I just sounded like, like dumb. So, so it made you, me more frustrated and like awkward. But it got really mellow and good because a brand new album came out that night. So I was vibing hard yeah. as fuck. Okay. So would you so say you was on Earth though? Nigga, Vegetables. I did it with or nigga, I did it with orange juice. I thought I saw God. <laughs> me and my homeboy, me and my homeboy, I, I, I shit you not, he he did seven grams that night. And, no, y'all niggas are doing and we both did it with the amounts. orange juice. My Damn. my my baby mom friend went to the club and we were still drinking that shit. She came back three hours later. We were still in the kitchen, uh, in the kitchen holding our stomachs because mm. we were like fighting demons. I swear to God. Oh my wow. god. That's not fighting wild. demons. Hell no. That sounds wild. I was fighting big demons. Uh. Hell no. But what just happened back there was hilarious. The vegetables. Man, anything you want to shout out, man? Yeah. I'm going to shout out, you know, my son again. I'm always going to shout him out. Sure. Shout out my son, Levy. Yeah. Yes, sir. His birthday next month, you know, shout, shout out to the big four. Oh. He's he, he about to start four. paying my yes, bills. Sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Put him to work, bro. Yes, sir. You don't want to yeah, shout God out bless. yourself for, like, no social media yeah. or anything? Uh... You know, I'm a very little bit of a private person right now. So, shout out to my gamer tag, uh, Deku. <laughs> on go. what? On uh, Modern Warfare 2. If you see a nigga named Deku on what, shitting on, on what, you, that's me. On what, what console? Like, shout it out. Uh, P5, PS5. Uh, gay yeah. station. Right, get him out of here. <laughs> get him out of here. You're going to have to save that for another debate. Oh, hey, on gay station. But all right, man. Thank you for being on the Faded Podcast, man. I appreciate Thank you. Yeah, see you later. No, I appreciate you guys. There's always much love on y'all side. Right, yeah. God bless. For sure, man. Hey, man. Get a handle on what's going on in that house. You know? <laughs> <laughs> this house is never quiet. I'm going to tell you that. I've been trying to be quiet the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you see how hard it is for people to be quiet in a bit? <laughs> Yeah, I'll be easy, man. Oh, I love you, God. God. Y'all be safe. You too. Be, you too, man. Oh, Peace. Uh, bye. <laughs> Sounds like a moina. That was cool. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a murder in there. Yeah, man. Like the scream and then I'm playing tonight. with the vegetables. She was going crazy. Jeez. But yeah, man, I think that's a uh, Riz app. <laughs> I think that was cool. That was good. That was a very good episode, man. It's your host, Smoke the Chemist. Damn. And yo, Grandma's Baby Daddy. Uh, Boozy. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and we motherfucking out of here. Out this bitch. Oh, wait. Before we out of here. Before that. Damn. Damn. My fault. Oh. Before we out of here, man, like, comment, yeah, share. All please. that shit. Share it all, man. Hey, we've officially yeah. got a social media page rolling. We're going to have a TikTok rolling here soon. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So get with us. We are live on Instagram. Y'all comment below if y'all want us to start it. Twitter. I don't want to start a Twitter yeah. for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or that. X. Let us know what y'all yeah. want. Patreon, all that shit. Let nah, we know. ain't doing no Patreon yet, man. We ain't been. Not yet. We might not have yet. to. We gotta do that oats and shit. Our shit's, <laughs> our shit's, uh, our shit's free, man. But subscribe to us on YouTube though, because oh, yeah, yeah, you can get the sure. full length videos on but here. Yeah, if you don't. definitely subscribe on YouTube so you can see our video mm -hmm. version podcast. Yep. And then definitely we're available on all major platforms. That's on audio. Yeah. Audio wise, so Spotify and Apple Podcasts. I mean, that's pretty much really all you need. Yes, sir. Android, Apple, bro. Like, right. come on. That's there's only two types of people mm -hmm. in this world, bro. I'm not, <laughs> I am not paying thousand dollars to fucking put this shit on podcast apps that I don't even fucking know. Right. right Do you know right. how fucking hard it would be for me to track that shit? Like, yeah. Yo, fuck that. But yeah, man, follow us definitely on Instagram. We're all on the faded podcast bio absolutely you know what i mean except this nigga because he don't have no soon, fucking coming uh, soon coming soon don't worry. he don't have no fucking social media mm -hmm. it's in the works it's in the works don't worry about it but yeah man so definitely follow us on all that uh subscribe like comment that way you can stay in tune with every episode that comes out absolutely any short that we post and uh love y'all that's pretty much it man yeah man thank you guys love y'all man You're the best 20 right now but we booming we're mm -hmm. gonna be booming don't get it twisted man our 
watch time hours and our our analytics are looking real good, man. And I appreciate every one of y'all. We're yes, only getting thank better because you know of y'all. So thank, thank you for you. support. We appreciate it. So interrogation looking fabulous. Don't got a clue with them. Gucci canvas pants, fresh as hell with the shoes with. If I love a bitch, I love a bitch to death. Don't care who hit it. I'm fresh out of my deal. Shoot a proposal, bitches. We always back to selling pints for the high. I'm a street token. Take my shirt off just to fuck her. Let me swim like the beach. I just nutted and I got the gummy worm, but I'ma keep stroking. She's sucking dick all night. I'm the reason that her knees swollen. Oh, I'm so disgusting. Look, I did Sean Cotton. I was in my feelings. All got misspoke. Now we ducked off in Houston with two bad bitches eating lotus. Let me switch lanes. Street nigga, I got habits of putting.